you can make a tincture in any kind of bottle. Okay. You, you've been seeing a lot of tinctures made in canning jars today, but here's a, a lovely, uh, more decorative bottle. The difficulty with using a decorative bottle is you can only use it once. There's probably no way to get the herbal material back out through this narrow little neck. It fit in there pretty well when it was dry, because this was dry to stragglers, but now that it has gotten mm, swollen up from being in the vodka, it's not going to come back out of there. That's okay. This is no problem at all. This is astragalus or astragalus, wherever you want to put the accent, it's just fine. It is the root of a plant related to peas and beans and thus related to red clover and peanuts as well. This turns out to be a tremendous immune tonic and this is one of the reasons why American herbalists have grabbed this herb from China, one of the most used herbs in China, I will mention, and put it right into our homes. I keep astragalus in my kitchen as well as in my medicine chest. Astragalus builds up the immune system. Stephen Booner believes that taking astragalus on a regular basis helps to prevent Lyme disease. And since I live in a very high Lyme area, astragalus is part of my diet at least three or four times a week all through the spring, summer, and fall. Astragalus is a gentle, nourishing, adaptogenic herb safe for anyone, young or old or in between. I don't know of any reason why you wouldn't want to take astragalus. It helps to improve your ability to deal with all stress in your life and it improves your ability to ward off colds, flus, cancer, all kinds of big bad things and more importantly perhaps it helps to prevent type 2 diabetes. Adaptogenic herbs and especially astragalus are coming on strong. Let them be strong flavors in your life too.